Hey guys, it's me, Ashley, and in today's video, I'm going to feed. Be... <laughs> and in today's video, I'm going to be filming this cute, foresty, mystical, green look. And I'm going to be using the ever controversial Subculture Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you want to see how I achieved this look here, then just keep watching. play with the ever controversial subculture palette. Going in with a fluffy brush, this one is the MAC 224. I am blending down into the crease and blending that and building until it's ha I'm happy with the color. And then I'm going in with that same brush into New Wave and again building and blending until I'm happy with the color. Next I'm going in with the MAC 242. It's just a flat shader brush and packing edge all over the lid. I knew I wanted to incorporate that yellow in this look somehow. It's actually a really pretty color, but I end up changing it later on. You guys will see. After that, I'm going to be going into Mercury with a Sigma E25. I'm dipping on one side of the brush, flipping that brush over to where the color is facing up, and blending that into my crease, and then dragging it down through the outer corner. Then using the same brush and the exact same technique, I'm dipping into Tame exact same thing, focusing the majority of that color right on that outer V. Next, using the E45 or a small pointed blending brush, going into Axis and very gently blending that into the outer V. Very gently pick up a little bit of color to blend that in. You don't want to go too heavy with the dark colors. Using the original fluffy blending brush, going back into Dawn and New Wave and just blending out those harsh lines. And then rebuilding that yellow color right over the lid. I was kind of annoyed with the yellow color itself, so I just went into electric and used my finger to pack it on top, but it wasn't working. So I went back with a, a flat shader brush to kind of build that intensity some. It took a lot and I, I ruined the color of my palette trying to pick the color up, but oh well. This palette takes a little bit of work, but the end result usually seems to be pretty, 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 pretty. Going back with the small tapered blending brush and blending axis into the outer corner a little bit more. I just wanted it to be a little deeper. And then I'm going to go back in with the fluffy brush in the original colors and then blend it out again just to make sure there are no harsh lines. Now we're going to get a makeup wipe and clean up the mess we make because I've got to be the messiest eyeshadow applier in the world. I get it all over the sides of my face, but that's what makeup wipes are for. Time again for that big deep breath so that we can apply our winged liner. I sped this part up only because if I didn't we'd be sitting here for 30 minutes literally trying to wait for my liner to be perfect or as perfect as I can get it. Going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and in light I'm highlighting the brow bone. I love the color in light. Going back with Axis on a small smudge brush, I'm just blending that along the lower lash line. Just a tiny little bit, okay? And then using a flat definer, I'm going into Destiny and then blending Axis out with Destiny, which is just a little bit of a lighter green color. Using a Hunter Green liner, this one is Tropical Green by NYX. I'm gonna line my lower waterline. And then using pearl, I am going to highlight my face and inner corners. You always have to include highlighting, right? Because that's the most fun part of a makeup tutorial. Get a girl. Woo! Look at that. 
who says that subculture can't be used? <laughs> Bye, you guys. And that's it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you don't miss anything from me in the future. Go ahead and follow me on all of my social media. It will all be linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.